god! Oh my god, dude! Oh. Yes! Oh my god, I'm recording! Oh my god! what's going on happy people welcome back to another awesome episode today i am staying local i'm going to visit the Brazoria marsh I'm going to try my hand to see if we can catch some flounder right now it's a spring flounder run you have two specific flounder runs in the year off the texas coast you got the fall and you have the spring right now it's spring and reports are flounders being caught everywhere along the marsh except me i'm not catching them so the main objective is to target some flounder redfish speckled trout of course we will never shy away from those so that's the plan we're going to be using paddle tails bugs all different type of lures to get the job done thank you so much for clicking on the video and let's see if we can get the job done today all right i got my boy mdlr right there he's already flinging he won't even give me a a courtesy weight up <laughs> what are you flinging it's uh Skelly swim root beer? That is it. Hey man, you gotta stop copying me. I know you like watching my videos and uh, trying to take notes on what I do, but you know, you gotta, gotta make it at least it's not so obvious, not so conspicuous, right? You, you remember that, <laughs> that old commercial when we were kids? You, all right, I learned it by watching you. Yeah, <laughs> that was like in the 90s, guys. <laughs> and the egg frying on the pan. Yeah, don't use drugs, kids, it's not good for you. We got overcast conditions, man. I really thought it was going to be sunny, but I don't know, man. My forecast on my app has not been as quite as accurate as before. Perhaps maybe uh, the main uh, forecasters on vacation or something. I'm not sure. But either way, I am really, really happy to be out here with you guys. You guys are riding shotgun and we're enjoying the beauty of our very beloved Texas coast, man. Who does not love the Texas coast. If you do not love the Texas coast, honestly, I think there might be something wrong with you because this is just God's country right here. Right, Mark? That is right. God's country. I love your channel, Nick. Oh, are you subscribed? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think a, a dark color would be really good with the water clarity we have today. It has good contrast. So if you guys ever fish the Galveston, Freeport, Brazoria, especially in the spring, the water is not as clear anymore because you have those hard southeast winds blowing the tide in as you can well right now we got pretty high tide but the water is going to be dirty it's going to be mixing up with all that mud from the mississippi and it just makes it really murky and just really chocolatey if you know what i mean if you guys know what i mean if you're from this area so using a dark contrasted lure is going to be your best bet now there's no specific colors that i would say works better than the others as long as it's dark it has good movement your your chance of success will be higher in my opinion okay real fast guys this video is sponsored by salt native and shop carl's where i get majority of all my lures if you're interested in the salt native brand which is made for inshore saltwater fishermen check out the direct link i get all my tackle from shopcarls.com become a shop carl's member save up to 30 percent off get free shipping if you're interested the link in the description box below let's get back to our program Holy crap. Got <laughs> you gotta go through the rituals, man. There we go. That felt really good. I think it's gonna be a, a redfish the way he's pulling. Oh my gosh, a big flounder! Oh my god. 
I saw him, dude. That was like an 18 incher, bro. Dang it. <laughs> Dang, man. Yeah, I knew it. There's going to be flounder out here just catching them. A big one. Because from my experience, a spring run doesn't really produce big, big flounders like the fall run does. But if you're lucky enough to get like a, a nice, let's say, 16 unto an 18 incher during a spring flounder run off the Texas coast, that is a good catch in my opinion. And there's oyster here. I can just tell that he was kind of just sitting right at the oyster. And that, was, that felt really good. I didn't get a good hook set on him. Just looking at my bait, it looks like he just grabbed the tail. Oh well, at least it's good to know that they are out here. And they are hitting the paddle tail too. All right, there's a fish right there. I don't know what that is, maybe a black drum? Right here, I just saw something tail. You saw it on the video camera. Probably a black drum, I'm thinking. And there's oyster all over here. That's my guess. Another big something over there. That looks like another big black drum. Let's go take a look. It's like right here. Big old. It's a lot of black drum out here tonight today. I just saw him come up. So there's a lot of oyster around here. It just makes a lot of sense to have these big uglies come and surface. All right. Let's try a different lure now. And that's more natural looking. Let's see what we got here. This lure has done really well for me in the past. Let's see if we can get something to bite on this more natural. Still a darker color, um, but I just like how it's more natural looking. It's beautiful out here though, no doubt. Birds just chilling. It's like no wind. I mean, we're so protected from that southeast winds in this little marsh. It's just really calm and beautiful. You're able to just really gather your thoughts and just really enjoy fishing, especially if you have a kayak. Just get on your Hobie and just cruise out here, throw your line, hope for, uh, hope for a fish to bite, but all in all, it's just life is really good. Oh yeah, there we go. Thought I saw a wake right there, boy. Give yourself up, make sure. Oh yeah, he's gonna be a donkey. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh man, persistent pays off, and I hope I don't lose him this time. We lost two good fish. Oh god, he's gonna be a good one. <laughs> All right, come on, my friend. Whoa, wow, he's got some torque on him. He's gonna be a donkey for sure. Man, that's what you need to do is just keep working. That was probably like my thousandth cast. Finally got a good fish in. I said, it's fishing for you. You win some, you lose some. Oh man, he is going in that grass. There he goes. Yeah, good red fish. Good fish. Come on, bud. Man, he's got a lot of fight in him for being not a huge dude. He's probably about 22, maybe 23 inches if I'm lucky. But he's pretty muscular. Nice, I'll take it. Oh man, look how hard we work, ladies and gentlemen, for a nice, beautiful, slimy redfish. He's not a real giant like that. He's probably about maybe 21 inches, but so happy to catch him. I saw some jitterish bait or some movement on the surface of the water. And I kind of threw in that general area because I've been seeing that all day long, but no luck. And I got this guy to commit. Beautiful dude right here. Being the first fish, you know, I wanted to do a catch and cook, but always, well, not always, but generally first fish I would like to let go. Even though technically this would have been my third keeper <laughs> if I just know how to fish, right? But I'm super ecstatic to get this guy. Like I said, that was probably my thousandth cast. Here you go, my friend. Oh wow, he was ready to go. I wanted to, I wanted to have a nice graceful release. But hey, I'll take it. Uh, first fish of the day. Like I said, this would have been my third, but I lost the other two. I'm gonna keep fishing all the way to the end. I'm gonna work my way back. Hopefully, I can catch one more fish. Oh my God, I didn't capture it, dude. Oh. 
Dude, you gotta be joking me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm such a noob. Didn't even capture my fish capture, but look at that big old flounder. That's what we've been looking for. I mean, this guy is monstrous. Oh my gosh, look at that fish, guys. That is such a nice fish. Gosh, what do you think, man? I'm thinking probably about 18 and a half, 19 inches perhaps. Let's measure him on the hot head too, man. Can you believe that? Gosh, I'm so happy, man. Mission accomplished. All right. Well, I'm so sorry, guys. Like, I caught him right there on the apex using the hot head shrimp imitation. And, uh, yeah, he fell for it. 17 and, 17 and 3 quarters. Look at that. 17 and 3 quarter flounder. He's got some big shoulders. We're going to keep this guy. And he's going to be our meal for today. Thank you, Lord, for giving sustenance. All right, my friend. There you go. I want to string it for you. God, it's a big flounder. One of the bigger ones I've caught in quite some time, to be frank. There we go. A nice little redfish. <laughs> I caught him in a grass line. All right, I'll take it. He's hunting on a grass line for this small shrimp. And look at that. He's eating that shrimp. That's how you match the hatch, people. Got to see exactly what's out there and what the fish are biting. Beautiful dude. Perfect spot. There we go, guys. I caught him in the grass. Once again, my camera skills are lacking. My apologies. <laughs> We see them all the time. They're crabbers. Have you seen any seagulls working this season? Nope. I haven't died there. Yeah, there was a couple of comments saying that like they, they started Oh, there we go. Nice. I think it's going to be another flounder. Going to be another flounder the way he feels. Oh my God. It's a big dude. Oh my God. Get in here. Get in here. Stop, stop shaking. Stop shaking. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! That's a huge monster, dude! Oh, way to come clutch, man! He's 20 inches, bro! Oh my god! Oh my god, dude! Oh! Yes! Oh my god, I'm recording! That's a big, big flounder! This will be my technically third flounder, but we'll say two because, like I said, I lost that first one. But this guy is a, oh my god, my string just broke. His his teeth just cut through my string. Oh my gosh, this guy is monstrous, dude. Oh my gosh, I've never seen a flounder this big yet. Holy smoke, this guy. Is, oh no, don't go. Come on, chill, Nick, chill. You know what? We're going to play it safe. We're going to get the bogus. Thinking I have claw hands or something that I'm able to grip slippery fish, which I don't. Come on, boga. This guy is monstrous, dude. Mark, look at this. Look at this flounder, bro. What is he? I don't know. I'm about to find out. My guess is at least 21. Oh, I'm lying. 19 and a half. <laughs> oh my god, 19 and a half flounder. Holy smoke, this guy is huge. No, 19 and three quarters. Yeah, 19 and three quarter pretty much. Didn't I tell you the spring flounder bite is on? I have to scoop back because I know, even though GoPro is super wide, you're still not able to see how big this dude is. I mean, he is mega huge. Oh my gosh, I have not seen a flounder like this in a while. It's been by at least six months, 19 and three quarters. Super happy, way to come out clutch. Flounder, man, that's what I wanted to do. And it feels so good when the plan comes to